Alrighty, what is going on everybody? My name is What's Winger, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to, of course, yet another LEGO Minifigure Series 14, the Spooktacular Edition on bagging or blind bag opening. Today we once again have five blind bags here with us today. Hopefully we will be getting some lovely new figures, but before we get to that, of course, we actually have to look at this, which is our lovely chart that nice and easily summarizes to us what characters we have picked up so far and which ones we're still missing. And on top of that, of course, it's a really nice way to just see what characters are in this particular series. So let's take a look, shall we? We've got the Wolfman right here. We already do have that figure, I think twice actually. Uh, still missing the Captain uh, Pirate here, uh, this zombie pirate, I should say. Then we've got, of course, the Crazy Doctor, which was a very pleasant surprise last time. We have the Witch right there. There's the Man eater plant definitely want that we've got the man fly here or fly man there's one of the ghosts in this particular set there's the zombie cheerleader also all the ones that don't have like a little check mark next to them are the ones that we're still missing so you can see that obviously quite a few already we're already missing four figures uh, then we have the uh, cat lady right there the gargoyle definitely want that one that'd be a really cool pickup for today we have the Halloween dressed up kid there the skeleton costume one we've got mr. Frankenstein the zombie businessman which looks very very cool the other uh, uh, ghost in the set. We've got the uh, Yeti here, the brown Yeti, but I think that that's obviously supposed to be Bigfoot. And then the Vampire Queen there. So pretty cool lineup of figures for sure, especially in time for Halloween. Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and set that aside and get to opening up our prized collection here for today. So as always, uh, once I cut the bag open at this point, Oh wait, I forgot, I always give away one of the codes, don't I? So let me go ahead and give away one of the codes here to you guys. Uh, so here you go, if you play LEGO Minifigures online, you can go ahead and enter that code to uh, go ahead and redeem a character for free. So you're very welcome for that. And with that in mind, I'm closing my eyes and let's see what we end up with here for our first minifigure. All right, I'm just gonna start by trying to find, okay, that's legs. Oh, what was that? Something just got flung somewhere. Um, I think that is the head, probably. Um, that is a torso. Whoops, I dropped that. Um, what is that? Is that the head? Oh, no. Hmm. Wait, what is this? What is this? This is a weird item. Wait, is this like the same thing? It feels exactly the same. Oh, is this a cheerleader? Yes! Awesome! Okay, that's a very, very cool start. She's from Zombie High, I guess, with the big Z there uh, on the actual attire. That's a very cool start. Awesome, especially because we don't have this figure. I was a little confused at first. I was like, wait, is that the head again? Because I felt like the little under part, and then I was trying to figure out, like, why is it so rugged and sculpted? And then I was thinking, why are there two of them? And which characters had a duplicate type of item uh, that would look like that? That's really cool. We have a very, very pleasant start right off the bat, guys. And we begin with the lovely, lovely zombie cheerleader. Very nice. All right, good start, good start. Let's hope we can maintain this momentum all throughout. Now, let's go ahead and grab our marker here and mark down the fact that we we have now character number eight. That's very cool. All right, next figure, please. Let's see what we have here. By the way, guys, thank you so very much for the likes on the last uh, unbagging. That was really cool of you guys. That's really, really, really neat. And I'm glad that you guys are enjoying these. Also, let me know in the comment section below, what is your favorite uh, character of the wave? Of course, I named them all at the beginning of this video. Let me know in the comment section below, which one do you like the most in terms of design and such? So I'm closing my eyes already, by the way. Um, I think that is all. Uh, ooh, ooh, what do we, oh, that's just legs. <laughs> I was like, wait, uh, what do we have here? Ooh, okay, that's the base. And this is, um, I want to say that this is the Yeti, but it could be the man-eater plant also, because, okay, let me just take something else to try to figure it out. Uh, that is a torso. I'm trying to find that, like, vine that the man-eater plant would hold. Um, what is that? Is that a camera? Because if it is a camera, then this is the Yeti, for sure. Uh, there's the little handle. I think it is the camera. Alright, I'm gonna go with the Yeti, but I might be wrong. Yes! 
All right, two for two in guesses and two for two in uh, not getting any duplicates. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Good start. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. Now, and of course, I've said that before, and usually when I say that, then I end up getting some duplicates. So hopefully I didn't just jinx us uh, by mentioning that just now. But this is an awesome figurine. I actually have the other Yeti that they released. Uh, what was it? Series 11? I don't remember. The uh, white and blue one. Uh, and that one was really cool as well. So this is another lovely, lovely figure for sure. Look at that. I love that sculpt right there on the little rigid area. That's really, really neat. Right there. Wha bam All right. And once again, grabbing the marker to go ahead and mark down figure number 15. Very cool. All right. Third time's the charm, right? Let's see what we get in our third bag here. This one feels very light right away. Like I'm telling you guys, it might be the gargoyle kid because it's so light. All right. So we have our little note. I'm closing my eyes. Is it the Gargoyle Kid, guys? Is it the Gargoyle Kid? You guys know already. Oh, okay. I've got two things right away. Uh, that's legs. That is a head, probably. That's a plate. Uh, torso, yep. Uh, oh, this is our first duplicate. This is the Frankenstein Rockstar, yep. Okay, I mean, it's not a bad figure, because again, I like the actual sculpt right here. Like, you could put different characters on top of this, so that's kind of cool. I do like that quite a bit. In fact, like, even that looks like a different character as it is, but obviously you're supposed to have that part present there as well. And then uh, the guitar piece as well is uh, not too bad. Again, it's a, it's a nice accessory, that's for sure. So, let's go ahead and have him hold on to the guitar, all nice and proper. All right, there we go. I'm trying to get him to, like, hold the guitar with both hands. There we go. And once again, I really love the attention to detail when they have like actual print work now on the toes area as well. Like you can see there's like boots or maybe studded boots that he's wearing there, which look very, very cool. Same thing goes with this guy, by the way. Like you can see his little toes right there. So <laughs> I do like that quite a bit. Unfortunately, the marker is staying sealed. We don't have to mark down any other characters, but we move on to the fourth bag and maybe we will get another character that we need in this particular pack. That would be really cool. Let me just get this out of here. And closing my eyes now. All right, let's see guys, do you have a good feeling about this? Well, technically you guys already know what's happening, but you know, I'm just guessing. Oh, oh, okay, this is a ghost. And I think we, yeah, we have both ghosts, so it doesn't matter. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's a new, I should have probably still guessed which one it would be, but yeah, that's another duplicate that we just got. Uh, I don't think I have this one though, uh, twice, so that's kind of nice that it's, uh, it is a duplicate, but it's a, a duplicate of a figure that I only have once. So it's a, a first time duplicate, let's put it that way. So that's not too bad. And again, it does have some really cool pieces to it that you can utilize for customs and such. Like it could probably, you could probably use a lot of these parts, like this part and the actual like disappearing vanishing part for some really cool like Marvel and DC characters as well. So uh, I'm actually pretty happy about that. Like you could probably even use this, like color it up in red or something like that and make like a red tornado custom or something like that. That could be kind of cool. So there we go. We have uh, four figurines. Two new ones, two duplicates, which is a pretty good ratio. Let's see what happens with the final one. Make your guess now, pause the video. Okay, well actually no, unpause the video guys. Listen to the instruction first, I guess. Leave your ideas in the comment section below of who this is gonna be, and then unpause, uh, and then, sorry. Okay, pause, leave the thing, then unpause, come back. Okay, I, I'm making this way more complicated than it needs to be. Let's move on. Here we go. All right, me and my explaining. Closing my eyes now, guys. I have a good feeling about this one. I think this is not gonna be a duplicate. Let's see. Oh man, this might be a duplicate. Oh man, this might be a duplicate. Okay, I'm trying to think. Could there be any other character that could have that little handle that the skeleton kid does? Oh, I don't think so. I think this might be a duplicate. Um, that's legs, that's a torso, that's, ooh, what is that? Oh, that's the head, okay. Uh, oh man, this is a duplicate. This is the skeleton dude. Oh yeah, yeah. I was so hopeful when I was holding onto this part the, that whole time. I was like, maybe there's another character that uses that same part, but nope, that is not the case. 
that is certainly not the case but again very very cool parts on this figure so i'm again still pretty happy because you get lots and lots of cool customization pieces out of that still should probably show you guys this one maybe you didn't see the other uh openings so obviously pretty awesome and well done uh, actual design. I love how you can actually see the eyes and the uh, typical Lego yellow there. So again, very, very cool to see that. So there's our entire roundup of figurines for today. Not too shabby. We didn't do too badly. Still managed to pull off two brand new figures. So I'm quite happy about that. Hopefully we will continue that momentum next time. We still got to get the, uh, the man eating plant. Uh, we got to get, or the man plant, uh, the fly man, the pirate guy, right? The gargoyle, the, and the zombie businessman. Those are the ones that we need. So hopefully we'll get those other ones on the next LEGO minifigures on bagging. I hope to see all you lovely folks here for the next one. As always, have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will see you guys later, alligators. Bye-bye, everyone.